Hi guys, Review at 101 here. Today we're reviewing the uh, Swift Trans 300 watt 10 band spectrum light. Uh, I picked this up on Amazon, I believe, for like $89.99. Might have been a little bit cheaper. Somewhere in that ballpark, under 100 bucks. Um, this is the light that I've been mentioning that I was going to do a review on. I just couldn't remember the name. Um, but what it looks like underneath. Supposedly 103 watt diodes. Um, I believe it really is uh, 101 watt diodes just based off of the LED drivers and the um, watts it consumes at the wall. Uh, quick facts 15 inches wide by 18 inches, uh, 15 inches long by 8 inches wide. Um, they do not list the PAR at 18 inches. They do not list the watts it draws at the wall. Uh, they do try to say that it is 3 foot by 3 foot coverage on sp um, this footprint. I do not believe it's going to do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and verify that it is in fact at 18 inches. There is your 18 inches. As always, I'll go ahead and plug it in a pink hue to the light um, as expected with most of these LEDs unless of them are pink or some shade close to pink so it's not the worst I've ever seen but it's definitely not the least I've seen the Mahizi probably has or Mars Hydro probably has the least about of uh, pinkness to it. Some other light that I have it has no name. I have no real information on it that I picked up from one of my friends to review, which I'll be doing that sometime in the next month. So I'll let somebody else use it. So I'll pick that back up and put that review on here for that light. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and test the watts at the wall. Seventy nine eighty bounces around between both of those. Uh, let's go ahead and get a par test going. Two forty seven. Two forty-seven is going to be the highest you're going to get in the center. Again, this says it's got a three foot by three foot spectrum. It's not going to cover that. Out here to the two foot by two foot, forty-five, fifty-five, sixty-two, fifty-six. Yeah, you're not going to get a two foot by two foot coverage. Um, Almost no light for this cheap is going to get you that kind of, and this small is going to get you that kind of kind of range. But you should be able to get at least a 12 by 12. One sixty. So it's pretty even in the twelve by twelve. Go sixteen by sixteen here. This is just a guess. It's not exact. Eighty six. Ninety five. Eighty seven. Ninety. So it's pretty even in the corners all the way around. Uh, not a bad light, honestly. For the price, getting 250 par, roughly 250 in the center. I uh, guess stretching it at 16 by 16 inch square um, for 90 dollars. 
I'd probably go ahead and pick this up if you're looking for something with a more spectrum because it does list 10 band. I can't prove that. I don't have a spectrometer. If somebody wants to give ahead and give me one one day, that'd be great. But uh, those are pretty expensive. So based off what they say, based off the lights, let me flip it upside down. What I do, you can see that it indeed, in fact, has, but you can't really see it on camera, but it does, in fact, have more uh, colors to it. One chain there likes to get caught up, but um, claims to have several different things, so 10 band spectrum on the lights, which is more than you're going to get in most lights on this price. Um, can't really think of anything else. Um, if you have any questions or anything else, let me know. As always, like and subscribe. Until the next time, see ya.